Hey guys, it's Dan, your host here at Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for today. This is going to be doing another top 10 list, and this one is going to be doing the opposite of what we did just a few days back. We are now going to go on the more negative side of things, and we are going to talk about in 2021, what were the top 10 worst characters of the Walking Dead franchise? <laughs> Okay guys, this is going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today and another top 10 list for today. This one is going to be doing another video leading up to 2022 and looking back on 2021. This one was suggested by you guys for me to go ahead and do the top 10 worst characters for this year from the Walking Dead franchise. So what are the 10 characters that piss me off beyond words, characters that I think were absolute crap, and I think that definitely uh, these characters, uh, if they're still alive, should die, right? Uh, so, um, well, at least certain ones. So, um, yeah, we're going to go into that. We're going to discuss all of that and talk about what were the true worst characters of this year for the Walking Dead franchise. So, this is including The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, and World Beyond. So, any of these are all, you know, of course, uh, able to be in the list. Uh, so, yeah, let's jump right into it. So, coming in at number 10. We're going to start things off with probably a shocker. Uh, I guarantee you guys are not going to see this one coming. Number 10 is going to be Strand. So, um, why the hell would you put Strand in your list, Dan? Well, this is my simple reason. I think that this character is great in terms, you know, in terms of the actor, Coleman Domingo. I think he's been great. Here's why he's in the list. I think he majorly failed as a villain. I don't like the route that they've gone with him at all. He is a coward hiding in his little tower, letting his enemy in that then poisons him later. Like, Strand gives me a headache, and especially in Season 7. I love Coleman. I think he's done a great job, but the character of Strand and as a villain is... He's not threatening at all. He's not threatening, and i that's why it makes him so bad for me. Is because he is to a point where, like, every time I see him, I'm like, buddy, you could be such a good villain, but he's just not. So, I don't know. That's just for me. Number nine is going to be Leah. Now, Leah, oh my god. You want to talk about a character that is very frustrating. Now, I don't mind her to start, but in the Reaper storyline... The character doesn't know if she's coming or going. That's the thing. Like, she doesn't know what she wants to do. She doesn't know what she wants. The character is very inconsistent. And even though I don't think she's as bad as Pope, dear God, I mean, especially in episode eight, like, what do you want? Like, you know, what do you want to do? Like, I just, it, she frustrates me so much that I have to put her in this list. I don't understand what is wrong with that character. But my God, I hope she gets better. That's the best way I can say it. Number eight is going to be Elijah. Now, Elijah, oh man, this is a really disappointing character for me. And that's why I have to put him in this list. I don't care about this character whatsoever, okay? He's got some cool like ninja skills, but what has he done? Like he's done nothing but just sit there. Like his sister's best friend was a walker. And then his sister... And then, like, okay, but you didn't develop the character. Why should I care about this guy? Like, I just, I'm trying to understand what's so important about this guy. And that's why I feel like he he's very much needed on this list is because I just feel like they failed on this character. I feel like where, where we're at right now in season 11, we're supposed to, like, be crying, you know, in episode 7. And I just don't understand that. Like, I, I don't understand what is so spectacular uh, spectacular about this character. So, I don't know. I'm going to put him in the list. He's not too high in the list, but he's definitely in the list. Definitely. I just don't really care about the character. And it seems like he's supposed to be some amazing character. So, yeah, definitely number eight on the list for sure is Elijah. Coming in at number seven is going to be Lydia. Now, uh, this character, along with Elijah, this one is even worse, honestly. I don't understand what they did with this character and just how much they've let her go so much, if you will. She's done nothing. Like, in 10C, she's there for two seconds. In season 11, she's there for, like, she has a couple lines in episode 5. And then the rest of the time, she's just, like, missing. Like, I hate characters that are just stuffed in the background like that. And that's why I have to put her here is because... 
Lydia in the comics. Okay, I didn't like her too much in the comics, but I'll actually say that in the comics, from her beginning to her end, she was doing something. She was doing something, and she had an impact on the story. Um, and I knew that them killing Henry would, you know, create this problem, and my god, it has. This entire, like, last, like, over season, like, you know, of time, she's done nothing. Like, she has literally done nothing. And for that, I'm gonna put her on there for now, and at least from this year, I really think she deserves the spot because she has been like literally nothing. I can't think of anything I like about this character at all. It's because she hasn't done anything, you know? Um, definitely a character I don't like this season uh, and this year for 2021. Uh, now, number six is going to be Fake Stephanie. This character is annoying as hell. And not because of the actress or because of the character, you know, like the way she acts. No, that's not the problem with her. Because of the simple reason that they are dragging this character out, they're making us feel like she matters for them to pull the twist later that she is not the real Stephanie. I would have expected this fake Stephanie stuff to be over by now. That is one thing about 11A that really drives me nuts. When are they going to tell us, like, that's who it is, like, the other Stephanie? Like, why are they dragging this out? Like, at first, for the first, like, couple episodes, I'm like, okay, you know what? Like, I actually kind of like this twist. It's kind of interesting. Um, now I find myself annoyed. Now I find myself like, okay, but, like, when are, when are we getting to it? Like, it just doesn't make any sense, and the character is about to become so useless. Unless they prove me wrong, I'm putting her on this list for now. I don't like that character at all. I just want real Stephanie and us to move the hell on, honestly. I really am sick of that. Um... Number five is going to be now, oh boy, this one, get ready for this one, guys. I have a feeling I'm about to offend the world on this one. Number five is going to be Alicia. Now, of 2021, that is. Not overall, but of 2021. What has this character done? And this is the one that saddens me, and it also pisses me off. Because think about the journey that this character had, and just hear me out for a second. What has she done? Not killed Teddy when she's supposed to. She has, okay, fine, she killed Cole, but she, she kept Dakota alive, kept Teddy alive when she easily could have killed both of them on that stupid little road trip they were on. And then now she's, she thinks that the walker is somehow going to take her to Padre, that it somehow has a mind of its own, even though it's dead. She's walking around with a freaking cut off arm, which, oh yeah, that was really sad. She lost her hand or arm or whatever, but now she's walking around with her freaking bones stuck to her friggin' like arm like what character is this like i freaking and then she, like the way she treats will and like all this stuff i'm sorry guys that character is gone from a really really good character to a flop of a freaking character i mean i don't even know what happened to her but i'm sorry until i see otherwise they have ruined that character they have alicia is awful now i'm sorry but jump at me all you want come after me in the comments alicia fans alicia fans alicia fans i'm sorry you can't tell me that this is good the writing for her character this year you cannot tell me that the writing for this has been genius because you'd be lying to yourself you know and the, the, re the way i know that is because there's been actors saying that it's kind of funky what they've done like you know I'm telling you right now, this entire storyline with Alicia, there's no going back, first of all. Yeah, they're bringing Madison back, but, you know, she lost her arms. She ain't getting it back. Like, I just, I, I don't even know what to say about that character. I really don't, but I am, I am amazed on how bad she became. I'm going to be honest. I am amazed, truly, honestly. Um, Number four is going to go to Sandwich Lady from The Walking Dead World Beyond. Bellshaw. Um, holy frig, this character sucks. I mean, this, okay, this is one of them times where I'm gonna have to actually say, and again, it's no offense to her, like, she just didn't fit the role, but the actress is cringe. Like, the delivery of the lines is cringe. I mean, I'm sorry, but when she died, I didn't care. I don't care about the character. I think she is a joke, and I think she is a really odd character i just i don't like anything about this character i really don't and when she died i was like deuces like honestly um all right yeah number three is going to be hope now holy frig this also is a character that went to friggin shit man honestly uh she was actually decent at a time now 
she is like fully fallen for this CRM bullshit when she just got there two minutes ago. She is dating a freaking boyfriend that is connected with General Beal or whatever the hell his name is. And you've got this stupid storyline where she actually is picking CRM over her own sister because she thinks that apparently like there's more more to it or something, even though she's just been there for a couple days. She's already going to pick the CRM over her own family, even though she tried to get Huck to sneak her out anyway. And then they try to plan something, but then she doesn't want to do it because she doesn't want the CRM people to get hurt. Like her character makes no sense, no sense at all. And it's to a point where her character, that's one thing about the ending of World Beyond, her character ended lame too. I mean, what did she do? Like, plant stuff by the end of the series? Like, I just... Elton should have let the walker bite her. Moving on. Okay, number two, Pope. Oh my god, this character was a disgraceful villain. I mean, a disgraceful villain. Richie Coster, I've seen him in other things. He is really good. For some reason in this, they turned him into, I don't even know what the hell, the mustache, the glasses, the, the, the toque, you know, like I just, he's not intimidating and that's the main problem with him, you know, is he bad concept wise? No, I actually don't think he is. It's just the execution of the character was so bad. And the reason why he's number two on the list is because we have waited for that character for so long. We've built up so much stuff to this character that I have to put him on top, at least close, because he is a real disappointment. It's the one thing from 11A, him and fake Stephanie, that I do not like at all. I don't like it. So, um, and then number one, you guys probably wondering, where the hell is this character in your list, Dan? We know she's coming. Number one, yes, as usual, Iris. I don't like this character. I think she is a freaking goof. I think she is a a idiot way over her head, and I think that the character never ended well. She freaking flips off her sister because that's supposed to be some cool scene for a series finale. Going around with a freaking crossbow, shooting CRM soldiers, and overpowering a trained soldier. A trained-ass soldier, might I add. Do I need to go further? Like, for the love of God, this character is awful. Like, the relationship with Percy, her... The acting, Aaliyah Royale, again, no offense to her. I just don't think that she fit this role at all. And as a matter of fact, they should have killed Iris to further Hope's character. That's what they should have done. Because the character, even concept-wise, is just a freaking joke. So anyway, that is the top 10 for this year. A lot of them are world beyond near the top. But I will say one of the standouts this year that failed was Pope. I will say Fake Stephanie and Alicia, my God, what did they do to her? Honestly, what the hell did they do to that character? So anyway, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys think and definitely write your comments in the comment section below. And of course, guys, if you're new here, click the subscribe button to you know some of my videos for Fear the Walking Dead, World Beyond, and The Walking Dead. Follow Dance, watch your views, and guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for The Walking Dead video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.